So guys, today I'm going to show you something different. I'm going to show you my settings that I use for OBS Studio. And these settings are local recording settings, they aren't stream streaming settings, they're just local recording settings. Now, these settings should work for Linux and also Mac OS X because it is a OBS Studio, so I'm guessing the settings are exact same. So before I begin, I just want to show you file sizes that I get by recording a one minute video. So I'm just going to bring this uh, bar chart up. And I done a test, one minute video at 1080p. I didn't do any 720p videos because I kind of don't record at that resolution, so I didn't really want to go into and change the resolution and you know mess around with it. So I just done I just done what I done. So I recorded at 60 frames and I recorded at 30 frames. Now for gaming you could see that I got 414 megabytes. So these 414 and 676 are megabytes and 2.27 are all in megabytes. So the values are megabytes. Okay. So so at 30 frames I got 414 megabytes. So that's one minute video that's how much it weighed. I played GTA 5 at 30 frames. I drove a car. You know, there was a lot of movement and so on, a lot of motion. So that's what I got. That that was the file size I got. Okay. So gaming at 60 frames per second. Again, the same scenario, same game, but just at 60 frames, I got 676 megabytes. Okay. So that's around a difference of just under 300 megabytes. So you could see the difference is quite big when it comes to gaming especially in a large scale so if this video was one hour you will see that the difference would be quite big while when it came to desktop recording the file sizes were actually near nearly same obviously in large scale it would be a bigger difference but it wouldn't be as big as well the gaming so that's a little note for you guys so yeah so let's actually get into my settings so my settings so I'm going to click on my settings, I'm going to skip this part because I haven't changed anything here, I'm going to skip this part because I haven't changed anything here, or maybe I did, maybe I looked at different services, but otherwise I didn't really actually do anything. Here I do have some settings set up already, so if you do want to copy them, you can, but I don't promise that they will work really well because I actually haven't even tested them myself. So yeah, anyway, this is the important part, the local recording part sort of a thing, the recording tab. Okay. So, recording path, choose whatever you really want, but I would recommend maybe recording footage on an external drive or just a different drive where there's maybe no games, you know, nothing that's being used while you were recording. So, if you have a game installed and you are using the hard drive for the game, and plus you're using the hard drive for or an SSD for recording, you might fall into some issues. An SSD might be okay, because it has a higher um, write speeds and read speeds, so you'd be okay. But yeah, when it comes to hard drives, you might have an issue. So, just just a little side note. Okay, so recording format I use MP4. I haven't really tested any other. I can't use obviously FLV because well, it doesn't support multiple tracks per record, and obviously I have three audio tracks. Now, for those who don't know what the audio tracks really are, they simply separate the audio. So different. I have different devices. I have external speakers. I have my headset microphone, obviously, and I also have my headset speakers. So all of those have been separated in its own little audio file. So there's three. And so then, if there's like a loud noise on my system, so for example, through my speakers, there's a, a loud noise comes out, I will actually be able to mute that track, that specific audio track, or just cut out in the video editing software cut out that little area where maybe there was a really loud sound or whatever else so it just allows me to have a lot of control over my audio which I'm quite happy about because just in case especially when it comes to gaming you might have for example best example is your friend says something and he's like just acting an Egypt and so on quite loud you could simply in the video just kind of cut him out where he started like you know being a really loud and whatever else so that's just one little example and probably a great example so that's why I like separating them but that's another reason I can use FLV and MP4 has an issue where if you crash so if your OBS crashes or your computer blue screens or whatever happens um, for example the power goes out 
the file that you recorded will be corrupted because it won't save pretty much so it'll just be corrupted so you're gonna have to restart everything while the FLV allows you to actually have some security in a way in terms of if your power goes out, OBS crashes, blue screen or just the computer just freezes, I don't know, whatever happens the file actually will save so you'll actually have some of your video saved and you'll be able to start wherever wherever you left off with while with MP4 you will have an issue you won't be able to do that. Encoder I use um, 264 as you could see I haven't really experimented with this one I'm guessing it uses um, the GPU to encode your video I'm guessing because uh, I mean I have an Intel CPU so I doubt you know it will be AMD video coding engine so I'm guessing it's it's um, the GPU so actually I haven't researched that I actually will and see if it's any better but yeah okay okay so rescale output I'm not even sure why I have this ticked because I'm I'm not rescaling I'm actually recording at 1080p I have a 1080p monitor so I don't need to actually rescale anything or or downscale anything so so I actually will untick that so if you do wanna rescale anything you can but um, usually could affect your um, quality so just so you know especially if you're upscaling okay so rate control this is actually something new so I actually didn't really get to play around with this one but um, I just keep it at VBR so um, bitrate 1000 doesn't really matter what you put up you could say 25,000 I noticed there's not really any difference not sure about file size now but I definitely didn't notice any difference custom buffer set it to zero so tick tick the box and set it to zero CF4 people say that the lower value equals better quality I didn't notice notice anything at all I'm not sure about the file size again but I didn't notice anything at all and most people just say keep it at 15 now if you do set it to 1 apparently the CPU usage goes up and whatever else but uh, yeah again I didn't notice anything so I just keep it to 15 just 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 play it safe pretty much okay so this is usually set to zero but automatically so don't even touch it okay so CPU um, usage preset I use ultra fast so there's all different modes I just use ultra fast that's what that's what people actually recommend too so yeah specifically for local record not for streaming now for streaming you might use that if your CPU is quite weak for local recording again I changed these and it didn't do crap so it looked the exact same to me again don't know if the file um, size changed all I know it just looked the same so yeah that's really about it for this part next part is the audio part and as you could see I have actually three tracks so you now you kind of have a bit more of an understanding what I mean by three tracks in a way just in a way all of these are going to be separated but um so I don't really have much over here going on I just you know have these I think this is by default already here and it, usually this is a 44 I just set it to 48 and as you could see there see my scale resolution is actually the same as my um, base resolution because I don't don't need to I don't want to downscale or I don't want to upscale so downscale filter I just use the best one they have and I recorded 60 frames because well because I can and I kind of like the, how smooth it is so that's that really so advanced I don't really didn't even play around with these and I'm sure there's not much going on here I think this is actually usually set to this but um I just set it to full. It doesn't change anything as far as I know. Anyway, hotkeys, I only have one hotkey really. Um, I should really update these and so on if um, I start getting a lot more um, scenes or sources on my um, on my recording. Anyway, so I'm just going to press apply anyway. And now I'm going to actually go into my mixer. And now you can see, see these have been all separa se separated. So you can see that I have three tracks and they've all been, you know, Track one is my mic. Track two, I don't remember what it was, but I'm guessing my external speakers. And track um, three is my headset. So you could also do such things where, for example, any audio. For example, let's say this is my headset um, audio. I could actually record everything on this audio. So on this track, I record. I could record um, the sound of my microphone and also the sound of my of my external speakers onto the all one track 
and also record the sound of the headset speakers if anything comes out. I'm not really sure why there's actually such thing. I didn't find any use in recording everything into one track because on your audio you can't separate it out like you know you might have people talking and then your game might be what um, audio might be there and whatever else so yeah you ha if you want to have separate audio tracks and just you know your voice here game audio here and your friends audio here then then that's how you really do it so guys thanks for watching and see you in the next one and um, do subscribe like follow me on I don't know Twitter github and yeah that's about it. That's the only social media as I sort of have at the moment anyway. So yeah guys, see you in the next one. And I will this is kind of the only one of those videos which is kind of odd. The rest of them will be probably programming and there might be another few odd videos, some tutorials and some settings and whatever else. So yeah, stay tuned. See you in the next one.